Welcome to ADI Technical Training. As part of the Hike Intercom series, we are going to start with the basic linking of the indoor station to the outdoor station. Right, today we're going to show you how to set up some intercoms. Um, we've got an outdoor station and an indoor station defaulted straight out of the box. Calling failed. And as you can see from the screen, it's sitting there waiting to enter a password in, they're both default. The calling's failed. It needs setting up. So I'm running SADP and I'm running Hike Vision IVMS 4200. Good time to check at the version of IVMS. Go up to help and about and just double check. We've got the latest version on board, which we have. Everything looks good from here. Um, and I just need to add these devices and configure them. As you plug them into the network switch, uh, they both get the default IP addresses, which is 192.0.0.64 and 65. I need to activate them uh, and give them some new IP addresses. So here goes. Best way to do it, I think, is to use the SADP tool. Um, and let's activate both these units at the same time with the same password that I'm going to use throughout. And there we go, we're going to activate them. Excellent confirmation, they're activated now. Now what I want to do is change their IP addresses. I'll need to do that individually. I'm going to start with the indoor station, which is this one here, uh, which is the default address uh, ending in 64. Uh, and I'm just going to edit it now and give it its new IP. One oh one. Uh, subnet mask is okay for my network and the all important gateway. Let's make that the same. And I need to give it the admin password I gave it before. Excellent. And now I'm going to go and edit the other one and change its IP address. This is our outdoor station. I'm going to give that 201. And do the all important gateway. And again, the admin password. With everything successful, we can continue to add them to uh, IVMS. Right, so you can see here the refreshed. Uh, we'll just maximize that out of the way. Let's see if we can get the units in, in view. I'll just sort it by IP address so we can see them easily. There we go, 101 and 102. Let's just add the indoor station first. Uh, we're going to call it indoor. Indoor station. We know the IP address. We want to synchronize the time. And we'll click add. That's it added as an indoor station. And now we need to add. So we're going to go on it. Here we go. The IP address is okay. The password's correct. I'm going to synchronize the time again. And there we have it. Both units added to IVMS. Uh, and we're ready to do the configuration. And let's just check the status of the uh, the, 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 the screen. Uh, and it's got a nice new time and date on it. it doesn't require registration anymore, but Calling failed. when we press the call button, it fails. We need to go and configure it now. Right now we have to link up the main outdoor station with the indoor station. They're in IVMS and we click the cog over here, wait for it to load. And then we go down to device management. And we have to add our nice new indoor station. It's already set for us as an indoor station. We have to enter our admin password. And we have to give it a registration password, which we've not edited yet, but we will do soon. So I'll use the same password, the serial number. 
is the serial number of this new indoor station. Uh, I have that ready. If you have a close look up here, part of the device serial number will give you the serial number. It's all in there. We need to give it its IP address, which we know already. One oh one subnet mask. And the all important gateway. Um, and it's device number one. And that's us added the indoor station, safe succeeded, everything looks okay. You need to check, maximize, you'll notice that it says offline. Network is unreachable. We need to go and fix that. The way to fix that is to go into the main indoor station, click the cog, go down to network, group network settings, and enter in the registration password we used previously. Click save. Everything saved should be okay. We can double check by going into the cog. I go down to device management and we maximize again. And we see it's now online. Everything should be okay. So let's make a call. Wake the screen up and then we'll press Everything looks okay there. I think we've done it. Excellent.